knees, and those shoulders start hurt. You know, that's where really, really your middle part comes. You got to be really tough. You got to get through everything. Uh, Fletcher, uh, I think we've uh, talked about this before, but you and Josh in, in there at the tackles, do y'all have uh, kind of a little uh, competition between yourselves, kind of ongoing? You know, maybe who's better? Who's... It's nothing personal, but you know, right. me and Josh are those roommates. Okay. Um, we always talk and compete against each other and everything. Like, who's the fastest? Or, you, know, you can't beat me in this, you can't beat me in that. But, yeah. you know, when we get in the field room, we always, you know, like Josh. Look at this one that we did. You know, Josh, you can do better at this, so he can encourage me, plus you can do better. And we, we really do that as a unit. Right? Yeah. Like, like me and Josh always competing there, you know. It's kind of fun. Do y'all do y'all talk about being trying to be the best defensive tackle pair in the in the conference? Oh yeah, we always uh, talk about that. When we first got here, we both you know, played as uh, true freshmen. We said Josh and I Junior said, Yeah man, you know, we wanna be two of the best in the country. Yeah. Fletcher, you uh can you run into any players from the other team? Um, I don't think it's going to rain into Marcus from South Carolina. I just wondered if y'all, if people were, if you felt like people were looking at y'all any different this year after, you know, some success. Like. It really happened. I mean, that's the only, really, other player I've seen. I think I've seen John Brandon and a couple of guys from Florida. But, um, I shook my gun my hand. What about it on your own campus? Uh, after y'all gone nine and four and finished fifteenth in the country. I mean campus campus is wild. I mean just not just you know, coaches don't have high expectations for you, but all the players I mean all the fans, you know, and also the players, you know, had a high expectation, you know, they, they expect a whole lot better season than we did last year. Yeah, do you have a? I know you all probably had confidence going into in the last year, but is it kind of a different mindset this year now that you've got that season behind you uh, of having success? Um, oh yeah, the mindset is, is totally different. Um, you can't have the same mindset you did last year, this year, because you had it and you, know, you haven't gotten better as a team. You know, you're still at the same level. You're satisfied. And we never, we never satisfied. expect a whole lot more than they beat than I did my freshman and uh, sophomore year. But um uh, being being a leader and coach looking at me as being one of the leaders of uh, the defense, uh, especially the defense alignment. Uh, last year people could really tell uh Pernell ran the defense. Uh, uh, coach Wilson always expressed that the D line you always have to have to have one defense alignment that really run the defense. And um, I mean the linebacker that that's playing that's gonna play this season, uh, they playing a whole lot of ball. SEC, a lot of folks ask me, how would you, how would you replace um, KJ Wright and Chris Wayne? Of um, course, we got Brandon Majors came in, you know, freshman Chris Hughes, you know, all the line, you know, Brandon Wilson, all of them played a lot on the SEC. With five straight matches,